The sheet we are using at the moment is probably quite busy. We are going to use some more data, so let's start a new sheet by clicking on the plus button at the bottom. This one's called Sheet 2. Next, let's import the data called Unemployment Spear. Insert, uh, sorry, Data. Insert from Text and Unemployment Spear. Import. This time, we do have a delimited data set with columns. We definitely have headers. Click Next to untick Tab and click Comma. And this looks reasonable. We are split up into our different data set areas. Next and finish. Let's put this in A1. This is important for the rest of the equations and the rest of the and the rest of the part of this video. Click OK. The first step in calculating Spearman's correlation is to rank the data. So let's do this. We are going to use the rank.av command. This makes sure that for matching data points we take the average of the ranks. We type in the following formula into cell 2. C2 equals rank, we select the average, we select the number that we want to rank, we select the entire data set, and we then select 0 for descending or 1 for ascending. We want to sort it in a descending manner, i.e. we give the largest number uh, a value of 1. And close the brackets, click enter. As before, we can double click on this little green icon down there to fill out this. But here you can see that I've made a mistake. We need to make sure that this is fixed in place. Like so, around the B. This makes sure that the formula is copied down correctly. And there we see the correct values. Let's do the same on this side, equals rank dot average. Select the number we want to rank. Select the data set, D2 to D13. Make sure that this is fixed in position using our dollar signs. And again, we want to sort it in a descending manner. There we go. Here we have ranked the data. We need, now need to add labels to the tops of column F and G for DI, the differences, and DI squared, the differences squared. We're now going to perform the next steps according to the equation for Spearman's rank. 1 minus 6 times the sum of DI squared. That part divided by N cubed minus n. We're going to take the difference between ranks, e.g. C2 minus E2. And we can copy this down as so. We're then going to square these individual values. Thus, 49. And again, copy this down. The next step is to take the sum of column G. Add this value using equals sum at the bottom. Equals sum, double click, and select all the data. Here I made a mistake. I selected G14. We need to make sure that we select the correct range. And here we should get a value of 461.5. Let's make that bold by pressing Control and B over the cell to make it more obvious that that is separate from the data set. OK, let's put another range of things on the left-hand side. So we're going to have sample size. And we're going to perform this Spearman's rank analysis in a number of steps to help you understand it a little more. Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4. And it is this which is going to be the result for Spearman's. So in sample size, we want to count how many, num how many samples we have count of this data set, enter, we have 12. In the next part of it, we want to calculate the bottom, uh, in step 1, we want to calculate this, the sum, and multiply that by 6, that gives us 2, 7, 6, 9. In step 2, we want to calculate n cubed, 
that's the sample sized cubed cubed minus the sample size again in step 3 we want to divide 6 times the sum of the differences squared by step 2 n cubed minus n which gives us a value of approximately 1.6 the final step in calculating Spearman's is taking 1 from this value equals 1 minus the answer if you've done all this correctly then you should get a value of minus 0.6 of course you could skip all these steps and do it all at once Try typing in the following formula into B into cell B twenty equals one minus six times by the sum of G two to G thirteen. Close the brackets twice, divided by count B two to B thirteen. We're going to cube that, and we're going to take away the count again of B2 to B13. We need to make sure that this is B2 to B13 there as well. We're going to close the bracket, and we should get exactly the same value. So this is Spearman's again, but typed in his equation all in one go. You should be able to work out which part of the formula relates to different parts of the Spearman's rank equation. What do you think your Spearman's result tells you about the data set? Write this down on a notepad now. A good way to check your result is to make a scatter plot. Highlight both raw data sets in columns B and D. You can do this by holding control after we select the first column. Thus, after this, go to the chart section under insert and let's select a scatter plot. The plot should look something like this. Does this look like the correlation coefficient you determined and the kind of dis and the kind of correlation relationship uh, that you calculated? Let's move this over to the side for now. Finally we're going to calculate Pearson's product moment correlation. This is done quite simply using the formula equals Pearson. Let's do this in cell B21 equals Pearson and we select data set number 1 we separate that by a column comma and we select data set number 2 close the brackets and click enter what result do we get? you should get something like on screen now answer the following questions based on this work what does your Pearson's result tell you about the data set? How does this differ from the Spearman's you determined? For what type of distribution is the Pearson's result valid? What is the word which describes the type of distribution which can be assessed using Spearman's? OK, if you've got to the end of this, well done. The next section involves more important data analysis and even more importantly, its interpretation. There is no video associated with this because it's all about your work and your interpretation of the data sets. This is section 6, testing your knowledge and comprehension. It imports the data for football teams and earth mean. And you're going to make a number of assessments of the data distributions and calculate some statistical values. Thank you for attending this practical and have a good day.